everything is so last minute after COVID, where I just feel like you used to have a lot more length in the audition process. But now you can hear about an audition the day before it's due, mm-hmm. and then you can hear about a job the day before. So I, whenever there's not like job or auditions in the pipeline, I'm like, I, I have this thing where I, I know, I, I'm not gonna swear, but it's big effing action. Mm-hmm. I saw her earlier anyway, so. <laughs> uh, and it, the, you've got to take control of what you can take control of. So I know that I can go home and I can do my admin for my acting. And I really, I've really come to love and enjoy the business side and the admin side of my career. And I feel like it's so important because it makes me feel like I have agency and I can know that I can go home and do something that will benefit my acting career, Mm -hmm. even if it's not going to an audition or filming a self tape or because, you know, when you're making goals at the beginning of the year, if you make a goal like I want to be booked on uh, you know, as a series regular on this show, okay, it's yeah, so out of your did. control, mm-hmm. and you've got to take control of the, the things that you can take, take control of. So it's like I have spreadsheets for everything. I have spreadsheets for what casting directors I've seen, when I last saw them, whether I got a recall, and then in six months' time or whenever that thing might have come out, I'll go back and I'll look at who co- got cast in the end, mm-hmm. and then I know, okay, was I close? Or were they just completely looking for something else? So you're being very strategic I'm about I'm very this, strategic and mm-hmm. very analytical. But I, I've always been quite... In school, I was really into um, academics and I did quite well in school. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like I've, I've, I have a naturally like intellectual-leaning brain anyway. So using those skills that I have feels very beneficial to me anyway because I can angle what I'm doing and just feel like I have my handles on it somehow. So, some, <laughs> some control and that was the, yeah. one of the things that I, I pursued acting for 15, 20 years as, as very much like yeah I'm doing this 100% I'm doing this but that was the biggest frustration for me is that not having control mm. and waiting for someone else to say yes. Yeah. B- giving my life to, to people I don't know and not connected to and yeah and waiting for them to accepts me yeah. accepts me in yeah. and that for me after 20 years was was kind of too much it was like no I've got to do something different mm. now I've got to kind of reinvent myself in a in a new way and um, how do you feel about that about being open to that waiting for someone to say yes it's I feel kind of peace with it and I didn't mm-hmm. five years ago and I feel like that piece comes from knowing that I can go and create something with my partner. Or like we actually, we're really interested in doing a new concept this year. And I've never made anything with my partner before. He works behind camera. Okay. But we have this kind of, oh, sorry, bump <laughs> the microphone. We have this thing where he does his job, I do my job. And it's nice because we're in the same industry. But so you've got a connection to talk but about. Separate but mm-hmm. it, we're not on top of each other about it. And I, I remember we did um, like our A-level final piece together and we just didn't work together very well. We're not like this power couple that works together no, no. all the time because you know we don't necessarily work in that way. Yeah. Um, but this year we, I really want to try and do a Shakespeare monologue with him, mm-hmm. um, film it, copyright copyright (laughs) we want to do the taming of the shrew monologue uh, at the end with kate Mm -hmm. and i want to do it on a pole because i pole dance as well okay and the 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 monologue is all about feminism and um bowing to your husband and kate goes through the play and she's um you you kind of don't know whether she's submitting or not or in the end where it's all for show Mm -hmm. and i just thought it'd be a really interesting fun thing to do so we're going to do that this year and we're going to plan it get those ideas out get those ideas out because Mm -hmm. if if i'm waiting for all these people to say yes to me and i'm not you know taking control and doing my own thing and yeah honestly it stems back to control (laughs) yeah yeah i i i just try and latch onto it wherever i can because it's it's sparse in mm-hmm. this in this industry. <laughs> uh, it's it's interesting because I, I I wanted to having someone been in, been doing acting for a long time. I kind of wanted to give you advice, and what you've said you're going to do is exactly the advice I was going to give. 
make sure that you're creating yeah make sure that you are doing your own thing yeah. even if that is just yeah doing a monologue on a on a camera and film it, filming that mm-hmm. it's so important to to create and yeah. do your art and not sure not wait love it. Just make sure you still love it and don't don't yeah don't wait yeah. there is going to be an element of that of asking to be part of other people's things but essentially you've got to carry on doing mm-hmm. doing you for you 